Hi everyone and welcome to High Valley Couponer. So today I'm here with Vlogmas. Um, it is December 8th of 2020 and I'm here with another vlog and as you read in that title, major life slash YouTube update and um, yeah, this isn't clickbait. There really is a super big update here that I want to communicate with you guys because yeah, I just want to do that. So um, it's going to affect how I do things on YouTube for a while. So it's definitely something that needs to be shared. So I would like to ask, keep your opinions to yourself in the comments, whether you believe this is, that I wasn't careful enough, or if you think it's a hoax. Leave that to yourself, please. Let me just get right to it. Um, I have been exposed to COVID-19. My dad tested positive today. <sighs> Unfortunately, he works in an extremely high-risk care facility, and despite wearing N95 masks, goggles and shields all together for hours a day he still somehow picked it up there i i don't understand it it's crazy to me that one it's just i don't even know how something like that happens when everyone there is so careful but unfortunately he has tested positive today which means i have been exposed um i have been around him um i was around him last night and he got tested today and uh he has mild symptoms, not really anything that in Ohio you would not expect at this time of year. In Ohio, our weather is so up and down, up and down. So you get sore throat, cough, things like that. But, you know, so it's really hard to know. Is this COVID or is this just regular Ohio allergies and stuff? But um, he did test positive today, which means our whole house needs to quarantine and not go out into public places so yeah that that puts a damper on things right i am fine i really don't feel much different than i do on a given day um so i'm in the clear for now of course i'm not gonna go out because i have been exposed so no worries about that but i am good right now thank the lord so what does this mean for youtube um, it means that there is not going to be any more in-store videos, and there's not going to be any haul videos, and there's not going to be any ad preview on Saturday. So let me kind of explain to you guys what I'm thinking. As I said, I feel fine, so I have zero intention to quit working for however long this quarantine thing is. We've not heard from the health department or anything yet how long we're supposed to be um, stayed up in our house. I've heard 10, 14 days somewhere around that so i don't know yet of course i'll keep you guys posted but i feel a hundred percent good ready to work and so i'm going to keep on working um and we're just going to have to do this in a different way for the time being um tomorrow's kroger video i actually am so glad i went out and filmed it on monday so that is done and pre-filmed so you guys do get the in-store kroger video for monday yes i'm so happy about that because i didn't want you guys not to be able to get those deals you know um, and I know you all love it in the store. I know that. And that's what more views are on is when I go in the store. So I'm glad that that video was pre-recorded and that you guys still can see that tomorrow. So that's going to be as normal tomorrow. Um, Friday, you're not going to see a haul. I know. That sucks. And I hate that. I'm thinking of some creative things to do. You know, I've been through this once when we had the lockdowns. I had to come up with new ways to make videos. And I think I can do it again for the... At least this isn't going to be nearly as long. It's going to be two weeks or so um, max. So I I'm feeling good about that. But um, so maybe on Friday I used to do scenarios of hauls. So maybe I can do something like that and give you guys a scenario. I, I don't know. I'm still thinking what can I do to compensate for that haul video. Now Saturday you're not going to see the Kroger ad preview. But on Sunday when they deliver, uh, they in my neighborhood they deliver this thing called the advertiser. It'll have the Kroger ad in there. So Sunday I can film it because I will have it at my disposal being delivered to my house. So that's great. I just can't go out on Saturday and get it like usual. So that'll be a day delayed but you're still going to see the ad preview. And then as for the Walmart and Kroger videos next week, they are going to be recorded from home in a PowerPoint format. So I will have a picture of the product and the typed up breakdown. There's not going to be me going in the store taking pictures or anything. That's not going to happen. And the same will follow for Kroger. Um, so I'm still going to give you guys the content, but it's just going to be um, in a different way. And it's going to be weird. I, this is definitely not what I wanted. You've seen us, guys. You've seen how hard we worked to prevent this 
everyone in our life knows how hard we work to prevent this. But, you know, it just takes whatever person happened to bring that to my dad's work. And it's not just him. There's several other people who've gotten sick too. So, you know, it, it just takes one person. And so that really sucks, but that's my situation. I'm feeling good. Keep me, hey, if you're, if you're a prayer, if you pray, keep me in your prayers, keep my family in your prayers. Um, especially for my dad that his case continues to be this mild. Um, I think for the most part, he's feeling all right. He's pretty much isolated from the rest of us. So we're being very, very careful. So, yeah, and what does this mean for Vlogmas? Because what on earth am I going to do being locked up in the house for 14 days? <laughs> oh, you guys aren't going to want to watch these anymore, are you? But I, I probably will still do them as long as I can think of something to report. Maybe this is going to be interesting to some people, seeing how I manage this thing. Um, but I'm just going to keep busy. I'm going to keep busy. I wasn't really planning on doing much outside of the house anyway. I was going to mail out that package for the um, child we sponsored from Tupelo Children's Mansion but now we can't leave to do that, so I don't know. Maybe what we're thinking is we can sit it on the porch, and maybe my cousin can come pick it up and ship it out for us. We'll have to see if she can take care of that. Because we have all the stuff, we just need someone to go take it to the post office and ship it out. So we're going to see. Um, we're stocked up on groceries, and you guys saw that massive haul I did yesterday. We're pretty good on a lot of things. Um, I'm sure during this time we might have to do an Instacart or something. I, I don't know. I was looking at like Grubhub and DoorDash and you know my couponer's heart doesn't want to pay for that stuff, right? I'm like, oh, I don't want to pay them an extra $4 to pick up my food or $5 or whatever. I don't want to do that. But if I, you know, it's kind of the situation we're in for now, huh? So mm, this is weird. And that's depressing because when it's Christmas, Christmas is like, Christmas is like canceled, y'all. It's canceled. What can you do? This is going to lead up right through Christmas, which is why I am glad I got my Christmas shopping done, but it still sucks. Ugh, just is so heartbreaking that this had to happen at ho the holidays. Can't do anything. Joy. Joy. All right, so I'm going to stop rancing, and I'm going to try and get some work accomplished, and I will keep vlogging through the day. Um, whatever I can vlog, I will vlog. So keep on watching if you want to see that. All right, so I'm going to get caught up on answering y'all's comments. Yes, I have been out for a while on comments. A couple days behind, a few days behind, actually. I never wait this long for comments. I'm um, just, I've been really busy filming and stuff lately, so I've not been as diligent about answering, but awesome. So I'm going to get through and answer y'all's comments. All right, so I did a DoorDash. First time for everything, right? I did a DoorDash, but it actually wound up, wound up being a really good deal. So number one, I signed up for a free trial of Dash Pass, which knocked off several fees. So the only fees I actually had to pay for them to deliver everything was $3.35. That's not too bad. Um, I just left a tip. And then, um, yeah, so I'm on this free 30-day free trial. As long as I'm going to cancel it, I don't have to pay delivery fees for 30 days, which is going to get us through this quarantine. So, um, yeah, but... Yeah, so we got El Perion again, the Mexican restaurant that I um, went to the other day. It just sounded good. I wanted Raising Cane's, but Cane's is not on DoorDash. So, couldn't get Cane's, but that's okay. So, this sounds good, too. So, yeah, I don't usually, I don't try to eat out too much throughout the week, but this is, we need something. We need something good <laughs> to bring our spirits up. So, we are going to eat some El Perion. What do you do when you're in quarantine? You online shop. And that is what I've done. Now, I literally hate online shopping with a passion. And this just proves why. Number one, I just wanted this green hoodie. I'd actually seen it in the display window last time I was at the mall. And I didn't go in and buy it. Well, today I was going to go and buy it um, when I mailed out the, um, the package to send to the children's mansion. Well, since that didn't happen because now we're on quarantine... I um, have to do it online. Well, $27.99 was not enough to get free shipping. And it would have been $7 to ship this if I hadn't bought something else. So I was like, well, let's see if I can find something else I like. I found this shirt, which is good. But there are so many other things I wanted before that. That they were out of my size. Or they actually didn't have it all. But they still had it listed on the website. It was a big pain. But this was a pretty good deal. I actually had a gift card for my birthday to use up. I had a Fetch Rewards gift card. And then I just paid the rest um, out of my 
blow money budget, but yeah, this is why I love shopping in the store. Man, I've door dashed today and I've shopped online. I can't keep these habits up every day or else I'll blow my budget in the first three days of quarantine. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 6.46. I'm going to just sit down and chat with you guys and wrap up the vlog. Usually I wrap them up a lot later, but there ain't really nothing else happening tonight. So we are going to um, just wrap it up tonight. I'm going to chat with you guys a little bit on the recap of what's happened since we've talked. So I did end up calling my GI doctor. If you didn't know, I have an autoimmune disease, Crohn's. Um, and if anybody's got that, you can relate how horrible it is if it's not under control and managed. And if you were here two years ago for Vlogmas, you remember my struggle, how horrible of a time that really was. I legit could hardly eat anything. I couldn't really go anywhere. It just was a miserable time in my life. But thank God he brought this medication into my life. And ever since then, my symptoms, it's been like I don't have the disease at all. And so I'm so thankful for that. But really, that's why that medication I'm on, I'm on um, medication, literally is, I'm, I'm really dependent on that stuff. Because if I don't get it, then it's like I'm going to go back to how things were. Um, so it's very, very important to have that medication. Well, one of the things that they've drilled into us is if you have a fever, if you're sick or something, you cannot take that medication. So... I called my doctor because so I'm scheduled to take my next dose tomorrow. I called my GI doctor and I was like, told him what was going on. And he suggested not to take it tomorrow and to go get tested next, early next week. And if it comes back negative to take the shot next week, the injection shot. Um, so that already scares me being out a week without it. But then on the flip side, let's say I'm positive, which I, I'm not, I'm praying against that, but let's say I'm positive, then how long do I have to go without it, you know? It's really concerning me, it, it scares me a little bit, but yeah, so I honestly might go get tested tomorrow um, and just see what's going on, and if I'm negative tomorrow, then I will go back and get tested again on Monday, like the doctor recommended. And if that's negative, then I will move forward with the injection. If I'm positive, who knows? Who knows when I'm going to be able to take that next injection, you know? So, uh, guys, this is awful. So I'm isolating in my house and quarantining. So if I do, it's going to be all right. But if I do have it somehow, I would like to know. Um, so I don't know. I might, I might get tested tomorrow. I know I'm definitely going to go get tested before next Wednesday because my doctor is advising that before taking the, um, Humira shot. So yes. So I will have to get tested eventually. I'm just not sure when. What a mess. So yeah, that's my major life update. And I'm that, Hey, I'm going to be honest. I never thought we'd get it. I really didn't. The amount of precautions that my family took. <sighs> It just didn't seem fair, really, but that's life, and that's just how things go sometimes. So, yeah, it's all I got for this vlog. I'm not going to say I hope you guys enjoyed, because I I doubt anybody really thinks this is anything enjoyable, but I, I want to keep you guys in the loop. So, thank you guys for hearing me out. I appreciate all the prayers, all the thoughts and prayers. I appreciate that so much, and thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.